Flags of all kinds waved in the summer breeze as Keithsler's Levitoe drill pad was the scene of the second Air Force's change of command ceremony. The presiding officer for the ceremony was General Robin Rand, commander of Air Education and Training Command. Rand spoke highly of outgoing second Air Force commander Major General Lynn Patrick, saying that thanks to Patrick's command, America's airmen are now better trained than they ever were. Patrick leaves Keesler to serve directly under Rand as the AETC vice commander at Randolph Air Force Base. Rand complimented Patrick on his legacy. As you depart Keesler, leave knowing that second Air Force is better today in every respect than it was 36 months ago. In large measure, this is a reflection of your leadership. Patrick took his last moment as 2nd Air Force Commander to address the airmen standing in formation. Remember where you came from. Don't look back. Go forward. Your future is so bright, and the men and women that are out leading in front of you right now are the reason that you have that opportunity. I want to thank you for joining our nation's Air Force, and I look forward to seeing you out in, in your careers. Rand then introduced the new 2nd Air Force Commander, Brigadier General Mark Brown. Rand said Brown was steeped in command leadership, and he had total confidence that Brown was the right man to lead the 2nd Air Force going forward. I, along with your 2nd Air Force leadership team, look forward to serving with you. All I ask is that you lead from the front with passion and represent our airmen with class and dignity. Welcome aboard, Mark, to the right of your career. General Rand invited Patrick and Brown to step forward for the official changing of command. The two leaders passed the flag, and Brown became the new 2nd Air Force commander. Brown later said his new position was an absolute privilege. I think I'm not unique in saying that any, any officer would absolutely uh, love the opportunity to lead airmen. And we're best to do that than when they come into the Air Force, get their training, and then are provided to commanders. So that's, that's why this is a very, very special opportunity for me. Brown said that as he begins this new chapter in his leadership career, he plans to continue following one of his core beliefs, viewing each new day as a fresh opportunity. Every morning when I get up, uh, as I have been for 27 and a half years, I got to start over, and I got to earn the right to lead airmen. Uh, and that's, that's, my, that's what I believe. I believe I have to go out and earn it, uh, because they deserve nothing less. Yeah.